Hello and welcome to Style Fix, bringing you the latest in men's fashion, lifestyle and styling tips. I'm Anushka Cope. And I'm Courtney Paul, and this is going to be your weekly show bringing guests, discussional topic, trends, and more importantly, we want to hear from you. There's a real gap in the market. Men are really stuck nowadays. They don't know where to go for fashion tips. And what, they're lost. What they're doing, they are. So hopefully, hopefully we can help. We can fill the market. So we want to hear from you. Get in touch by tagging us on social media with the at StyleFix Online. Comment below and tell us anyone you want to see, what we could be doing differently, or send us any pictures you want to see featured on the show. So I think we should probably start off a little bit about us, introducing yes. ourselves and whatnot. So um, I'm Nish Cope and I'm a presenter. I'm Courtney Paul and I'm a stylist. I recently started my own clothing brand and I do a bit of TV work. And he is going to be our style guru for all you lads out there who need some help. So hopefully we can get some tips. Anushka is just going to sit pretty. She's going to give you everything you want to know. And I'm going to give you a female's point of view because I know you, all you lads out there love a woman's point of view as when it comes to fashion. As much as we don't like to say we do, we definitely do like it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. So I thought it was a good idea to start off um, with Courtney here because he is our fashion guru. He's a massive social media influencer, <laughs> I'd say. Um, so I think it's important that we get to know a bit of your style um, yeah, and, and what you like. So here we go, what we got? This Ooh. is a layered option. I'm all about the layers. So I started off quite simple, just a plain black t-shirt from my label, Courtney Paul the label. Throw a hoodie over it, I like a bit of pop of colour. As you can see, I'm a fan of tying a shirt around my waist as well. And then it. we go a bit urban, then we've got a bit of Adidas, throw a bit of Vans in. And again, my calf, just kind of giving a layered, optional look, because that way you can take the jacket yeah. off. Do you know what I love as well? The pop of colour, like it's just, it's really fresh. I think that's- The wall helps think... me, the wall helps me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good backdrop. <laughs> when it comes to uh, mixing and matching colours, do yes. you think there's a limit on the amount of colours that you can have in one outfit? I'd say, I like to stick to like two, maybe three colours that we mm -hmm. kind of keep like a palette going right. rather than just having like blah, 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 kind of looks a bit messy. Yeah. So by keeping it on like a kind of colour scheme, it kind of blends as well, if you know mm -hmm. what I mean. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that is a wicked pick. Can I just say, the backdrop, That's I had insane. no choice. Where but is to that? Before. That is in Birmingham actually, in Harvey Nicks. Right, you lot need to head bit. to Birmingham to Harvey Nicks to get this exact photo. That is incredible. Get My there gosh. for your social medias, you will never turn back. I love it. So can you the, tell us a bit about this look? That is an all grey look. I, I'm very much into grey at the minute, so I just kept it very simple. I like the uh, tapering on the sleeves as well with the kind of mm -hmm. black and the white. Pops against the white shoes, and then I kept it quite neutral with a hat as well. Mm. Is that a tan called... colour hat? Is it like a beige? Yes, it's a. Uh, it's called Sterney online, but yeah. it's kind I'd of mixed between khaki and beige. I wouldn't have put that with grey, but it looks really nice. I did I it think... because of my skin colour. I can't lie. I did. Okay, yeah, so maybe not for everybody. It's an invisible. It's an invisible <laughs> hat. That's what I like to see. <laughs> I love it. That's great. So as you can see, you have um, quite a distinctive style, which is amazing. You know, but style is, is kind of different for everyone. Exactly. And uh, we're going to be talking about some of the most current trends out there, what's going on on social media. So let's get to it. So up first, who we've got? Brandon Myers. He is a social media Ooh. influencer. He started off on our screens on X on the Beach and now he's doing so well all over social media. Amazing. This is him in Abu Dhabi at the minute. One of the biggest trends that you've got to look out for at the minute, especially if you're going on holiday and you can dress at nighttime as well, is the cut off flannel shirts. This one, Brandon, I believe is from Zara, but you can get it from anywhere. So you can try ASOS, Topman. Mm. Everywhere is enjoying the raw sleeve cuts. Can't go wrong with a bit of check and the red just pops. What's your opinion on kind of a mismatch of patterns? Do you like that or do you think it's too much sometimes? Usually I wouldn't, usually I wouldn't like it, but because the red in the shorts matches the red in the mm. top. I'm not too mad at it. I'm and his tattoo though as well. Do you think he planned that? A little bit of red there? He's a colourful kind of guy, so <laughs> I, bet, I bet he had it down to a T. We have, I believe this is Tom Walker, another social media influencer who's kind of into his edgy kind of rare fashion. So he's got the Yeezy Calabasas drop in the sweater. Mm, nice. Layered with the grey underneath and obviously the light wash ripped skinny jeans, which 
I'm a massive fan of, especially for the time of the year. Mm. They look really good against the camo on the Yeezys as well. And I think this is an absolutely banging outfit. And But it, look, like going against what you said earlier mm. though, is that, because I, I said that the, the tan didn't, I didn't think really could go with grey, but I think it works really well. Yeah, and he's got different skin colouring. So I think, I think that might be a thing. Yeah, I think it works as well because it's got the rips in the jeans. And yeah. It just kind of flows. Yeah. It's kind of a nice true. middleman with beige and neutral. You can mm -hmm. kind of just work it into any colour scheme, which is always good. Nice, yeah. Plenty of options. I think this is a model from Manchester. He's got kind of a Travis Scott, it's a like rocky kind of vibe. Yeah, wicked. It's I love that. all about the stripes at the minute. The contrast as well between the kind of block stripes against the thin line stripes. Mm -hmm. I think it's kind of. It draws your attention, most of all. If you're walking down the street, you saw him, you would want to look at him. It matches the stripes on the socks. Such a clean outfit. I love it. I think, yeah, it definitely would get the attention of quite a few females, I think. Yeah. Got the option as well with the denim jacket. You can take it off. The embroidered denim jacket is also a big trend. You can pick that up in Zara. You can pick it up in ASOS. Top man, everyone is trying to get on the embroidery hype, so don't miss out. Oh, love me a bit of denim. I do, I do, I so do. So you've been, you've been taking notes already. She makes out like she doesn't know anything about style bags. Well, I have you to thank for to help me out. This is actually his jacket. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is wicked. This I love is it. a really good holiday outfit. Obviously, the denim jacket, optionally take mm -hmm. on and off. Mm -hmm. Again, the grey keeps cropping up, so grey is a real hot topic for the time of year. Grey is great. I know you ladies out there know that grey. Yeah, there's some, what, some it's about a guy in grey. What is it? What is it that you like so much? I said, I time I'm, out, do you need time out? It's a good question though, what is it? But I don't know, grey is just great. Why don't they tell us? You can't Let go us know. Wrong. I just feel like it suits any man. Oh, Again. Oh, there we go. There grey we go. On grey on grey on white on grey. Although I, I actually don't like this look. You don't? No. I, tell us why. I don't like uh, the high socks. I think it cuts off his legs to make them look stumpy. Um, and I feel like it's like a bit prison esque. Like, it's just. I don't know, it's, it's just not like cut enough for me. I find men in shorts a hard one to do anyway. Like, what is it that you, you don't like? I, well, it's just you not, just, it's not Do you want us to hide our legs? What is it? What is it that you don't want to <laughs> no, see? No, it's... <laughs> Too much cleavage? No, what it's just, it? I think I think here, it's just the socks with the, with the shorts isn't a good vibe. Plus, I'm just not mad on those trainers either. I feel like it's Ooh. kind of schoolboy. Uh, I don't think that's going to go down well because they are a very, very high demand pair of shoes have not long dropped. I know everyone wants a pair. I personally want a pair. Really? So okay, again. all right, well, maybe you can show me another, a better picture later. Maybe it's just the picture. I will uh, sway your opinion a little bit. Okay, so as social media is such a big part of our lives, we're also going to be touching on quite a few different trends on social media. Yes, things Some... that you're laughing at, things that you don't like, we want to know, we already exactly. see it, but tell exactly. us. Exactly, and I don't know about anyone else, but I woke up um, one morning and went on my Instagram, as you do, <laughs> and my timeline was bombarded by something called a romper. I was like, I actually Googled what is a romper. Grown and... baby girl, I like to call it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. And I was like, okay, so why is this, why is this suddenly blown up? I don't really know why. I think it's the time of year. I know Zara love a good romper. They're a bit more European. I feel mm. like people are going on holiday. Yeah, I, I mean, Get I'm, I'm, out. I'm in two minds. But let's, let's take a look and see, see what we've got Say here. Say no more. Ooh. See, for me... I think this uh, is a photo that started it all. Uh, yeah, it, uh, for me, at first dance, I'd be like, oh, hell no. No, this, 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 doesn't, this doesn't work for me. It's too much. It's too much. It, if you cut all the heads off, it could be at a girl's Hindu, especially the guy in the glasses, I mean... Bro, the, sp the spot, like, spotty one looks like, I don't know, like a little sort of play date outfit. It's not or okay. Or someone's daughter's little preschool dress. No, 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 don't the do it. The colours are too much. If you're going to go for a romper, personally, you've got to keep it monochrome. Black, white, grey, anything other than that. Mm. Yeah, I'm not territory. convinced yet. Let's see what else we got. Mm. <laughs> mm. Bro. <laughs> um, I just you want know. to know what the message was when he looked in the mirror. What did he think? What was good about the outfit? You know, each to their own. Come mm -hmm. on, you know, we, you know, we like to be neutral around here, but this is bad. This is real bad. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan at all. I feel like the colour just blends too much into his skin Yeah, guys, skin tone. guys, please. Everyone is different, okay? One colour does not suit all. 
look at the colour of your skin and then bear in mind what suits you because it's honestly, not a I don't wear certain colours that don't suit my skin tone. Like, if it doesn't go, it doesn't go. If you need to ask someone, ask your mum, that's cool. Or us. Or yeah, us. Or at us. Style Fix Online. <laughs> exactly. Get in touch. We don't want to see this anymore. It's not good. How you thought you were going to look in wrong for How did you look? This is so true. Okay, okay. Actually, this is the first one I've seen on this model here. I don't actually mind it. It's longer like, length. It's cool. That is too much. If it. <laughs> Girls, I know like a thigh tattoo, so if. That guy <laughs> might as well get his tats out. It might as well get everything out, let like everything hang out. Pop, not. Yeah, it's not a thing. Cat wall look. I like the fact that that one goes past the knee as well. Yeah, 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 for sure. No, definitely. People getting it twisted between catwalk, high streets. How do you work it into it? Yes. Don't rush. Yeah. That's my only yeah. advice because this is what can happen. What we got? Oh. You see, this is the one I've seen. Mate. The khaki romper. Oh, I like the grey. The grey one bangs, like, the grey one bangs. The grey one bangs, I'm sorry, that just works. It's a cross between a romper, boiler suit, some places it's hot. call it. It's it totally works. hot. It works. Well, look at, look at men and women like men in uniforms, right? And You've just finished at the mechanic yard. You're taking a stroll. Yes, that's what it is. He looks like a mechanic or You've something been like captured. nice. Yeah, I, I, I personally think it's a no no for me for anything above the knee. I think that's too much. I mean, I like the colour, the colour's nice. Um, but I just don't Safari, think... Safari, Zookeeper, you've, mm. got, you've got options. You can dress up yeah. for the day as whatever you want in one yeah. of these rompers. Yeah. I, for, for me, the verdict is it's a major no-no, but the long ting is all right. <laughs> and if it's grey... It's a winner. It's a winner. Ask Anushka, and Anushka can tell you. And that just about brings us to everything we can cover on today's show. We want to hear from you. We want to know about mm -hmm. rompers. We want to know about social media stars. Anything you want us to see, do not hesitate to at us at Stylefix Online. Maybe a link will be here, maybe it won't, who knows. <laughs> yeah, definitely get in touch, comment below, and we want to hear from you guys. We are going to be doing topics week by week, so if there's anything you want to know from us, then please get in touch. Anything you're struggling with, anything you're not sure of, do you dare brave a romper, do you not? Get in touch. Absolutely. I'm Nish Cope. I'm Courtney Paul, and we'll catch you next week. Hey!